2017 Audi R8 First Drive You might think the new Audi R8 is a Lamborghini in a business suit. You'd be wrong, the Huracan is an R8 in a Heinlein shock troop pursuit. This is the most raucous, rowdy Audi yet, and it's most certainly a supercar, even when parked next to its bodier Italian cousin. Although the Huracan has been on the street for nearly a year now, the new R8 and the Lambo were developed in parallel. Audi handled most of the engineering workload, with the Huracan receiving Lamborghini's styling and tuning finesse on top of its Audi-built V10 engine and 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. The R8 gets Audi's motorsports inspired best. Tally it all up and you have two very different cars built from very similar components. Of course, that could also be said of the R8 and its racing doppelganger, the R8 LMS the race car built for WEC endurance racing. That car, in fact, is more closely related to the R8 than is the road-going Huracan, the wheelbases are the same, 50% of the parts are shared, and the bodies in white are built on the same line. The race cars are pulled offline for occasional tweaks or additions, then slotted back in to run through most of the same workflow as the R8S that will eventually end up on the streets. This development program pulls from the best of a legendary supercar brand's flair for presence and idiosyncrasy. It also takes lessons from the company's customer racing effort, as well as Audi's own impeccable taste in road manners and clean, elegant design. The end result is an inspired supercar with daily driver comfort and a surprisingly aggressive side. Like a new pair of your favorite shoes. The new R8 is familiar and foreign at the same time. It's more comfortable and compliant on the street, thanks to a new chassis that's 40% stiffer, allowing for a more forgiving suspension tune. The completely reworked 5.2-liter V10 engine has a great white bite to go with its Rottweiler bark, but only after you provoke it from polite mode with a press of either the drive select button or the exhaust sound switch. The seats are comfortable. That can be said for both the standard sports seats or optional carbon shell, race-style buckets. Wrapped in a cabin that's much more futuristic and forward-looking than the last R8, the overall driving experience is refined, luxurious, and high-tech. This is more than just a comfy supercar, however. Audi's new MMI system, along with the virtual cockpit, as debuted at the 2015 C's in a prototype Audi TT cabin, powers the R8's instrument panel mounted infotainment system, offering a very different experience while adding impressive processing power and some groundbreaking new features. At 12.3 inches, 1440 by 540 pixels, the screen in the instrument cluster is large, high resolution, sharp, and rich with color. In our driving, we never experienced any significant washout or visibility issues, Audi has sorted the display. An NVIDIA Tigra 30 processor with 2GB working memory handles the 3D graphics, Google Earth Maps display, and other visual elements. The high-powered graphics processor makes for a beautiful, computer-like experience, with no perceptible lag or hesitation in any of the transitions or animations.